If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in the question, which note-taking technique is best for me? As in you, or me if I'm thinking about it. Um, my name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping experienced professionals to manage knowledge and information more effectively for the past 20 years. So, this question, which note-taking technique is best for us? Now, what I call previous generation thinking was that most people use throughout the world is that, you know, as you get on, you develop your own technique, you know, depending on your style and your preferences, you know, and it sort of all works out really. But I believe we're asking the wrong question. The correct question is which note-taking technique optimizes our performance? And I believe that's the right question. Because if you look at what most experienced professionals are doing, you look over their shoulder, they're basically doing exactly the same thing. They're using previous generation note-taking techniques developed 2,000 years ago, taught in the education system for 2,000 years. We're all using it now in the workplace for our careers. But the problem is, however we vary that technique, it's basically the same. It's a recording technique. They're either in sentences or bullets, and there's an attached mindset to it as well, which is really, well, subtle, but very powerful, which is we record now to use later. But the thing is, in our work, wherever you work worldwide, in whatever company you're in, the two key ingredients to being successful at work is being able to manage knowledge effectively, and I'm talking about meetings, interviews, coaching sessions, conference calls, and to manage relationships effectively, and to combine the two. Now, the problem with most note-taking techniques, which are all previous generation techniques, whether you're doing pen and paper or a laptop. So a laptop user is using previous generation note-taking. Because if you look up, they're typing, typing sentences or bullets. The problem is that modern technology has locked into it a 2,000-year-old inefficient recording technique. Strange, but true. Now, <clears throat> the challenge with any form of note-taking is being able to do the sort of magical five or six. So being able to listen to someone, record, analyze, question, summarize, all at the same time as interacting with someone. Virtually impossible. Well, it used to be impossible, but now it is. So I'll show you how I, I went from, uh, and I used to find that highly stressful, you know, and the longer and the more complex meeting, the more stressful I found it. So I'll show you how I went from a, a position of previous genera using previous generation note-taking with the mindset to next generation note-taking with a next generation note-taking mindset. The difference, I was moving from recording to information, sorry, recording information to managing knowledge. So basically the purpose of me, rather than writing notes, I call it harvesting knowledge, was to be able to convert that information into knowledge real time and to be able to use it real time to add value for myself and for other people. And to do it at a level higher than any other note-taking technique. So remember, the question for me is which technique gives me greater performance and I'll show you why next generation note-taking techniques can help you do this. There are four key ingredients to this type of technique including the uh, switch and mindset <clears throat> and here they are. The first one is deep filtering. So if somebody said we need to discover one optimum note-taking technique which regardless of personal preferences helps everyone enhance their performance and increases their professionalism. So those are powerful statements, enhance performance, increase their professionalism. So the first bit is a deep filter. So what would I, um, I would probably capture the word discovers important for me. One, optimum. I don't need note taking because I know that's what it's all about. So it's technique. I don't need which regardless of personal preferences because I know that's what this is all about. Ah, here we go again. Enhance performance and increase professionalism. So the first thing that happens, even when thinking about this, I can achieve a level of 
concentration and focus that I physically could not do when using previous generation note-taking or just listening. Even if I tried, I just can't reach that level because I'm proactively working the information. The next secret is, oh, my mind's gone blank. The next secret is deep processing. It's come back to me. I should have written that down, shouldn't I? Okay, here we go. So discover, and I abbreviate, it just helps to uh, speed everything up. Discover one optimum, optimum uh, technique. And enhance, enhance performance. and critically increase professionalism. So I'm giving more value to other people and also getting more value myself and I'm coming across as more professional. So, something very different. Deep filtering, deep processing. Why does this give you superior value over every other uh, previous generation note-taking technique there is, regardless of your preference, preferences or your style. It's because the deeper the processing, sorry, the deeper the filtering or the deeper the processing, something very magical happens. You increase one of the three key percentages when managing information. And the first percentage is RTU, which is real-time understanding. And this was measured by cognitive neuroscientists when you're using previous generation note-taking, and it comes around 64% in complex meetings or presentations, which is okay, but it's not great if you're limited at that. What happens by making that switch to next generation note-taking, within two weeks, your real-time understanding goes up to 76%. And interestingly, it doesn't stop there. After one year, it goes up to 84%, that's a performance increase. Real-time understanding, 84%. And for those people who are dyslexic, even better news, your real-time understanding goes up to 87%. So in effect, you're outperforming non-dyslexics by 23%, which is phenomenal. And this is real-time. Now the next uh, part, secret, in, or secret ingredient is Dynamic structuring. So all the time you're looking at what are the appropriate headings? Um, where can you chunk information? What's the appropriate subheading that you chunk it off? And the more you do this, the better you get. And this increases the next magical um, percentage, which is GA, which is glance access. So the better you get at doing this and structuring it, you're able to actually look at this knowledge real time and use it real time. And this is the huge switch in mindset. So rather than recording now for later, you're harvesting that knowledge to use now. You know, and very quickly you can see like the major headings, you can see all the chunking, you can see what subheadings that's coming from. All this helps you generate more questions and more ideas, but crucially it helps you manage knowledge at a level other people cannot achieve. So for example, um, here is an hour's meeting, um, here was my preparation for the meeting, and here was the meeting itself. That's an hour's worth of knowledge, but I can see at all points during that meeting what was said in the first five minutes, to 30 minutes in, to the last five, which enables me to spot questions no one else is spotting, to make links no one else is spotting. I can do phenomenally accurate summaries really fast at the end. My write-up times are better three months, six months, I can go back to this and be back up to speed in a few seconds with 95% plus recall of what I've got. Really powerful. That is what happens when you switch the question from what note-taking technique is best for me to what note-taking technique is best to increase my performance. I hope you like this. Please press the like button. Of course, please feel free to use any of those four elements, including my introduction here to Smart Wisdom. And if you want to enjoy um, enjoy, you'll probably do that. Join me as a fellow information athlete and learn smart wisdom more, of course, feel free to do that. Um, please comment and please share with anyone out there who you know is passionate about optimizing their performance, increasing productivity, could be an individual, could be heads of teams, heads of an organization. Please feel free to share. 
Thank you very much for watching and have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, on the left or on the right or on the top or on the bottom, you'll find a link where I've put some more free tips together for you on how to manage information effectively. Thank you.